Um, in most of the videos, I, I get lots of questions from viewers asking about a bunch of stuff related to the plants. And I think it's a good idea to tackle some of them. I recently got this question from Luke Chini. I'm sorry, I might be pronouncing your name wrong. And Luke writes, What do you do when you have a leggy pop? Behead the rosette and plant the top part? Or plant the whole thing more deeply? I think that's a really good question. So this question was taken from the context of a video about me harvesting the imbricata pops. Some of the ones I pulled out had long stems with roots while some of them had short stems. And I think the video also contained uh, some pops from some Echeveria pops that I planted into the planters. Same thing, some of them had long stems, some of them didn't. And what, my, what people might find confusing is that for some of them I would be chopping off the stems while for the others I, I just use them as is. Hopefully with this video I can attempt to answer at least the part of that question. I might have to work on a more detailed answer next time. In response I said, tweet, tweet, tweet. If I plan to use them in the landscape, I will trim the stem and keep a compact rosette and stick them in the soil. So much easier to insert them when the stem is short. If I don't plan to use them in the landscape and they already have thick roots and it's a growing season, I will plant them as is. I want them to take advantage of the growing season because chopping them now means that they would have to pause their growth until new roots form. That's a few weeks or months of growth wasted. I think it also depends on the size of the compact part of the rosette. If it is big enough, I don't have issues with chopping. But if the rosette is tiny and not compact, I will let it grow a bit more before I chop. This is mostly personal preference and there might be a more efficient way. But when you're doing landscape and mass propagation, you tend to care less about efficiency because it takes too much time, energy, and focus trying to get everything right, you know? Especially if you're just doing this as a hobby and not as a business like I am. So nowadays, I just go with the lazy or easy route. But anyway, that's my opinion on the matter. You may choose to do the same as I did, or you do you. See what works for you. Just treat my opinion as exactly that, an opinion. Because your circumstances might be different from mine, so what works for me may not necessarily work for you. Try it out, see what happens, and maybe just adjust depending on what works and what doesn't work. Again, I'd like to thank Luke for the very wonderful question. I found it really interesting, so I just had to make a video about it. You can hear the rumbling and it's going to rain soon, so I guess I have to wrap this up. If you have any other questions that you want me to answer, and if I find them interesting enough, I might just create a video out of it, like this one. So keep your questions coming, and I hope to see you in the comments. So until the next episode, bye.